once you get your car loaded, you come on up to deck five if you've got a cabin, and you stand in line to talk to the purser to get assigned your cabin. In home sweet home for the next three days on the ferry, we have two bunk beds, a little pull out table, nothing fancy for sure, nice window to see the views, if not a little moist, and a head with a shower. So that's kind of nice to have that in the room and not have to run down to the communal bathroom. Well, now that we've adequately made uh, this space home, let's go see what this boat has on it. We just got underway. The rain has started. Just taking a quick stroll around the deck. There is an observation deck up front, a lounge where people are sitting to look at the lovely views. However, they are pretty well obscured this morning. Holy buckets. You uh, come around the front of this corner here, around up towards the, the bow of the ship. It is windy and wet. The spray is pretty strong. It makes a huge difference just turning that corner. So we're underway and we're going to go check out the cafeteria and see what it might be on the breakfast menu. So we get underway in a half hour, but the cafeteria is already cranking. Looks like they have a full breakfast menu. As well as sandwiches, burgers, fish and chips. Kind of a pretty full menu here. Since we're not on a fishing boat, they do allow bananas. So apparently there is not only a cross country team, but a volleyball team. And the cafeteria is overwhelmed. So we have ordered and we're just waiting for our food. It's about a 25 minute wait, which is Fine because we're not going anywhere and uh, I gotta say prices are pretty reasonable so kudos to the highway for not uh, jacking up the prices on everything but there's a bar not open yet because it's not even 8 in the morning but it is a great place for all the kids that were forced to get up early to hang out and take a nap so after Three hours and 45 minutes of travel. We're pulling into our first port, which is Juneau. And the wind has kicked up. One of the more interesting road signs I've seen, if you turn left, you have 24 miles and then you just get to the end of the road. Now, if the end of the road is actually the name of a town, I apologize, but otherwise it struck me as kind of funny. like to take this moment as a public service announcement to thank the fine folks at the Alaska Marine Highway System for two months ago reinstating the bar on this ship that has been shut down since 2015. We applaud your bold decision. We would like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to have an Alaskan Amber a rousing game of cribbage, and just a chill time as we wait to go through the Wrangell Narrows. So, thank you, Alaska Marine Highway System. Well done. The Wrangell Narrows was definitely worth waiting up for. The crew had to navigate a 22 mile channel using just buoys and they were doing it at night. And this thing is narrow. I swear at one point I could have thrown a base mall to the shore. And I think we were the only people on deck. It was so cool. Active port here in Ketchikan. Some float planes taking off.
salmon are running, the seals are in looking for food. Here's a better view of the uh, Creek Street and the stilts. And the creek is absolutely full of salmon. They are uh, being hunted. We saw a very cool shot, or a very cool seal took off after a salmon and the salmon jumped out of the water and took off. It was pretty cool to see that. into the biggest section of open water on the boat. So far, <laughs> so far it's been really a cold ride. And this section here is open water. On the right hand side we have the Queen Charlotte Islands in Canada. And on the starboard side is open ocean. So what they tell you is about two hours, make sure you have the handrails, put all your stuff away so it doesn't flop onto the ground. Um, we've been really calm and this is pretty calm today. As you saw I did uh, did kind of bob a bit there, but this is really calm. It's not moving too much, but um, it, there was a group that we talked to last night in the bar that got on in Whittier and took Whittier to Juno and then jumped on this boat. They said that ride was rough as heck and about half the boat was sick. So it does depend on where you get on, what waters you cross, but so far this has been a really peaceful ride. If you are prone to sea sickness, this would be the point where the drama meet kicks in, so take it on the night of the uh, take it on the second night, and then you'll you'll have your drama meet in you by the time we get to this point. It's you gonna make the trip back to the bar too, or not? Yeah. And you're done, huh? Wow. Jeep! 